Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful angel wing earrings with the popular St. Petersburg stitch. If you're not familiar with this stitch, don't worry because I'm explaining it in a whole playlist that you could see here and I have step-by-step -step tutorial for its basics but even if you have never done this, I'm sure you will be able to make these earrings with this instruction because there are just a little small variations of this stitch that are easily explainable and I'm sure you will handle it even if you are a beginner. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. You could also check my second channel in description. Now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads and here I use these beautiful 3mm bicons that are from one of the collections of my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor and I will link down there their website to see. Uh, here I use earring findings. This is Naimo beading thread which is size D which is 0.2 millimeters thickness. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I took an arm span of thread on my needle and what I'm going to pick up is one of my earring findings and I'm going to pick up three silver beads then I'm going to take my earring finding I will take three more silvers okay now this is what I have and then I'm going to take a white bead okay so this is what i have on my needle now and in my next step i'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and as i have this i'm going to make a knot here and i'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and then i pull and then what I want to do is one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from. Okay and in my next step what I want to do is go around through all of my beads. Reinforcing my work here. And uh, you could even go twice around this loop here. Okay, and if you want, go twice as I said. And now from here on, I will start my St. Petersburg stitch. Okay, and I will start it first by picking up six silver beads. Okay, and now I have my six on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down just like this and I'm starting in like regular St. Petersburg stitch fold these two beads in this direction and I go through the middle two beads you see what I'm doing now and then I pull okay and when I pull I make sure I'm as close as possible to here to this white bead and now in my next step, I will take a bicon and a white seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I slide it. And then I go back here through this bicon. I'm skipping the white bead. I'm going through the bicon. And after that, through three more beads in this direction. 
Okay, you see where I go. And I pull. Again, try to push your work as close as possible here. Okay, after that I take one white bead and I go back here through these two beads. If you're familiar with the St. Peterberg stitch, it will be easy for you, this first step. If you're not familiar, just uh, go and watch my playlist list that I mentioned in the beginning here at the eye icon. Okay, now what I want to take here are four more silver beads. In my first step, I pick up six and now I will take four because here I already have two. And when I slide those down, in fact, I have again six beads. I'm in the beginning position. Then I fold this in two and go through the middle two of my six. And I'm going from the inner side to the outside, from the inner side of my work. Now, here, I want to add again a bicon and a seed bead. But before that, because I'm expanding my work, I will add one more additional silver bead. Then this is what I take in this second step. The only difference is this additional silver bead here because I want each row to be longer than the previous one. Okay, now I have this. And then I'm doing the same thing. I'm skipping the white bead. And this time I'm going through the silver that I added before this and through three more beads. Or if it's easier to remember where you go, uh, one bead after this bead that's sticking out. Okay, through this bead. It is the same place, just I'm going through one more silver because here I added one more silver. Then I take one white bead and I'm going in this direction. Then again, at this step, what I want to take are four silver beads. Why four? Because here I already have two and I want to have six in total. Each row starts with, starts with six in total. And then I fold this like that. And what I want to do is go through this middle two beads of my six. Okay. These are the middle two beads. And now I will pull this to my work as close as possible. Okay. And here, because each row is with one seed bead longer. I will take two seed beads. Here I took one, now it's time to add two. Then I'm taking my bicon, three millimeter bicon, and then I'm taking my white bead. Okay, so the only difference with the regular St. Peterburg uh, it is that here, instead of one bead, I will add a bicon and a seed bead. And here I add, each row I add more beads. Okay, now I skip this white bead and I go in this direction. Remember where? One bead after this bead that's sticking out the most. So I'm exiting through this bead backwards through all of the beads and through this one. Then I take one white bead and I go back in circle just like this. Okay. Now guys, before I continue, I have an additional step. You see here those two beads, I need to connect them so these two rows stay together. And how I connect them, I go backwards this is additional step before I add my six beads. Okay. And then I go through the other silver bead. You see, I'm connecting this one and this one. And I go like this. Then I go 
backwards just like this and they are now connected you could do additional reinforcement if you want and then I want to go here in the familiar place where I start my next row and here for my next row I need four four beads again because I need six in total I already have two and now I will go fold this and go through the middle two silver beads here you see where I'm going through the middle two like I did before and then I pull my work like this I don't want any thread showing here okay now I have this and here remember I added two additional seed beads so in my next step I'm going to add three additional seed beads in each row one additional seed bead more and I take a bicon and a white bead and I slide all of those down just like this then I skip only the white bead I go through these three additional beads that are coming on my way and through the next three because my goal is to exit here at the same place one bead after this one that's sticking out the most okay like this here I need my white which is the central white and I go back through these two and don't forget that now what comes is the additional step of connecting those two rows because as every row becomes longer and longer you will need to connect it with the previous one in my previous two rows I was connecting them with one bead but here I have a longer place to connect two beads and two beads okay so I will go like this through these two beads then back through these two and if you want you could make an additional reinforcement here and exit again here in these two beads where it's time to add your next row okay and my next row i'm starting absolutely the same way i'm picking up four seed beads sliding those down just like this folding those beads like this then here in my previous step I was adding four seed beads before the bicon and the white bead and now sorry three and now it's time to add four because each row grows with one seed bead and then I take a bicon and a white bead okay and I will slide this one down okay then I go back like this through all of those four beads first through the four if it's too much for you in one step you see where I am and then through the next three Okay, and here I need one white bead. Go like this, and I'm in a position to start my next row. But before that, guys, what I want to do is go back and connect my seed beads. Okay, I'm going back just like this. 
and I am connecting those silvers first I connect those two I don't want to connect three all together I think it's better to connect two three is too much and then in my next step I will connect one okay this one which is just next to the bicon and this one here going like this and like this then through all of the beads here and one more time here I'm repositioning in order to start my next row and for my next row where I will be adding my sixth bicon I will make this six with a loop and after that because I'm adding my sixth bicon, I will add five seed beads. Okay, I, I think you get the idea. And you could do as many rows as you can. And I will make, let's say, 11 rows. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to show you the last row and tell you how to finish your work. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my 10th row. Here I added nine beads after that, this bicon and seed bead. Then I connect it with, with the previous row, everything like I did in my previous steps. And as I connected it, now what I want to do is make my final row. And there is a slight difference here when I'm making the final row. First, I reposition in the same place like I did before here through these two beads. But now, I will skip the step where I'm adding one more row here. So I won't add first four beads and make this loop here. But what I'm going to do is add directly 10 beads, 10 silver beads. Okay. And I have my 10 here. And I'm going to slide those down. Then what I'm going to take is my bicon and my white seed bead, like I did before. Then I slide those down. Again, I skip this seed bead, go through the bicon and through all of those 10 beads. I go up to here and now it's time to connect those beads. Now I connected those beads and what I want to do here is make here a knot just like this making a loop going twice through that loop I've made pulling and then I will go through some beads and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready, I will cut my thread and my angel and my angel wing earring is ready. 
Okay guys, and now my Angel Wing St. Peterburg stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified for new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also uh, find the link where to buy supplies from and uh, link to my second channel if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.